How many brands would you guys say you work with today? Uh, a little over 100. And what do you do for them? I know you guys do a lot for them, but yeah. it'd be good to just kind of disclose. So there are a number of services that we provide, but essentially one is distribution and fulfillment. Uh, what that means is we'll pick up their product from anywhere in California, we'll warehouse it out of our facility, and essentially upon their direction, we'll pick and pack and ship out the order to the dispensary. Um, so it's very similar to kind of like a traditional drop shipping model, but on the wholesale side. Now, we've added a lot of ancillary services on top of that to create value. One is a product called Navis Marketplace, uh, which is retailer facing. So all of our suppliers and brands can list their products for sale on our marketplace and retailers can place orders. There are some other ancillary marketplaces out there like LeafLink, but I think the big differentiation that we have is that we're kind of like eBay is to Amazon Prime. We, since we control the dispatch itself, we can deliver the products within 36 hours. Uh, which has been a big differentiator. The other products, um, there's one called Navis Capital. We provide uh, essentially um, inventory financing for our suppliers. It's very difficult to gain access to capital in cannabis because one, banks uh, don't give you traditional loans like a normal business. And uh, even equity capital is very limited and you have to be able to tell a very compelling story to, to get that expensive equity capital. So uh, we kind of serve as this bridge as a financial institution, given the fact that we're a little bit more established, we have access to capital, and it's, it's a good way to you know, stimulate the, the, the sale. So basically the growth rate for you is to also tied to facilities, right? Somewhat, yeah. Somewhat. And so now you're in hyper growth, uh, entering this real estate world that operates at a snail space, mm -hmm. and somehow you're just trying to get as much land right. and warehouse space as possible. Mm -hmm. And so... What do your needs look like in the next year or so? So right now you have this 20,000 square foot place that you're doing. In Los Angeles, we have a 26,000 square feet in Oakland. So uh, all in all, we have about 46,000. If the math is correct and our projections are correct and we continue to grow at the rate that we do, by the end of next year, we will need something like 150 to 200,000 square feet of warehouse space to handle the volume. And that would be to support about 20 to 25% of all cannabis in California. Now that's a that's a big number. There's 40 million people in California, and uh, California and support Californians love to smoke weed, and I see that as kind of a pretty large responsibility to enable the supply chain. So we're really racing on our end to procure the real estate, the licensure, um, and the the headcount. And it's not just the space. It's uh, about for going into a new city. It's about talking to the government about the municipal taxes, letting them understand that we're bringing this new type of business to their city. That we're going to be hiring hundreds. hundreds of people uh, and actually hiring those people, training them, and then you know getting it up and running really quickly. I definitely think that we've really trained our muscle in turning up a facility really, really quickly. So, um, you know, for example, our Oakland warehouse, um, which is 26,000 square feet, opened in December of last year, and we started working on our LA facility after that opening and we, we we were operational in LA, moved in with licensure and approvals by April and that was certainly a, a gymnastics. Will you guys ever go like autonomous vehicle, like autonomous trucks? Is that is that sort of something that really makes the business pencil? Yeah, I mean, it, it, we, we envision a lot of cool new things in the future. I think probably before autonomous vehicles, we want to start experimenting with electrical vehicles, um, electric fans. And one of the things that we're doing there is Currently, electric vans are very useful for any deliveries within the range of up to 400 miles. But after that, it becomes very difficult to do. The problem with California is that it's quite large and uh, there are places um, that are certainly more than 400 miles apart. So as our long-term strategy, we're actually building our headquarter fulfillment center right now in Wood Lakes, which is kind of a uh, 30 minutes south of Fresno. And that allows us to kind of sit right in between the five where we can access both LA and Oakland within 400 miles. So we're hopeful that kind of these long-term infrastructural investments that we're making would enable us to do that. Autonomous vehicles, I think that that probably will come with the uh, how the auto industry evolves. But. Sure.